Hello everyone and welcome to Planet Coaster. Uh, today we're gonna look at all the fantastic uh, contest submissions you guys have entered for this uh, Vekoma looper uh, slash arrow for looping coaster thingy Wonderful. contest. Yes. Uh, oh, and you might hear we have a special guest. Oh yes, yes. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Silverettes. Uh, you might know me from my uh, my YouTube channel where I also post the Planet Coaster contents. And other stuff as well. And uh, Jure, Jure kindly asked me to uh, be the co-host on this video today. So, uh, hi everyone. See, si. okay, yeah, I don't have any uh, idea what a good coaster is, so that's why I brought you in. Oh uh, yes, yes, I'm the expert, of course. We're gonna be objective today, well, or subject, yeah, objective is objective. Yes, uh, we're, yeah. we're gonna look at this very objectively because you guys are gonna have to vote on this, and we're not gonna give you any hints. Um, we're just gonna enjoy the rides for what they are. Yeah, okay, so let's just get right into it. Uh, here we have Roland Mack, the legendary Roland Mack. Mack product. And, and this is Java, or Java, uh, and this is the opposite of Python, he says. The so, opposite of Python. Yeah. I wonder what that means. Uh, but uh, let's write it. I can't wait. I wonder what the opposite of Python means. Is the lift hill fast? Is the layout not no, smooth? I don't know. Maybe it's, oh, maybe the track. It's not white, but the supports are, but there's no green, so it doesn't make sense. Well, that, that, yeah, it does make a little bit of sense. Yeah, true, the colors are different. So far, it's uh, it looks pretty similar. Oh, spoiler! Spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's an interesting park you got there, Yuri. Yeah. All right, all right. Imagine if a park made 17 arrow loop bringers. Oh. Me. All right, we're doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. This is this is a very underbanked turn. Interesting, it's like RMC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Low key, yeah. All right. So far, I'm not I'm not seeing how this is an opposite of Python. It's like a wild oh, mouse a bit. Yeah, kind of. You do get some sick laterals on some of these curves. Maybe a little bit of airtime even. Oh. Okay, if I could give one tip, it would be to start banking the turns. I noticed that every turn is unbanked, which it doesn't look deadly, um, but it does look... Okay, now this is a wild mouse. <laughs> but let's appreciate the uh, supports. Actually, I don't think they're custom. I, th I don't think these are custom supports. Okay, no. well, that's, uh, well, that's okay. That's okay. Let's get <laughs> on to the next one. We're keeping these short, um, just so you guys can have a quick look at these. And uh, I will also upload the park to uh, check them out yourself so you can make a, a good judgment yourself. All right, the next one is by Mord. This won't win, but I'm done and I'm happy. He says, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that confidence. Uh, I do like the look of it, though. Yeah. These are custom supports. The supports actually look very well done. This is a um, bit uh, iffy, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, the general look of it... Looks promising. And he bu did build a transfer track as well. Yeah, I see that. Oh, they couldn't choose any Team TK, by the way. That was a condition as well. And no DLC right. items. So that's a... Uh, that's very fair. Yeah, a, yeah. a level playing field. I like how they kept the pre-drop here. So maybe I'm the biggest Planet Coaster noob, but are these supports underneath the lift hill, are they in-game? As in, do they come with a coaster or are those custom? No, those are custom. Oh. Yeah. Cool. I think they're part of the wild mouse that they added later uh, for free. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, because they they look they they look like they really fit the coaster. But I, I swear I haven't I haven't built this kind of coaster in Planko for so long. <laughs> I mean, I did link your Planet Coaster College video. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but fair those point. those weren't on the supports. Those so are on the track only. So. Yeah, exactly. No, you never know. Maybe there are some functions that I didn't know hidden in this game. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. It reminds me of... Uh, oh, I like the shaping. It's realistic. That's, a, that's a, as they call a true hang and bang. I guess that's the oh, name for SLCs. This entry into the corkscrew is very... Uh very typical of these... Uh... Yeah, I would say this is this is realistically bad in a way. You know, it's it's not smooth, but it's in a smooth, it's in a it's unsmooth in a way that I, 
find very believable for this coaster type. All right, nice. I like this a lot, to be honest. It really, well, it gave me the right arrow slash, like, for Goma, like the banking, uh, like, yeah, it's here, where, where's the loop? Uh, the corkscrew. Oh, yeah, the, the entry into the corkscrews, yeah. That's nice and janky. It's very, yeah. Very also, uh, props for the supports, the custom support job. It yeah. looks like there was quite a bit of work put into it. Yeah, awesome. Great work, Mord. The next one is by Snow. I suck at custom supports. I tried my best for the ones I did. Well, there was an attempt. There was uh, an attempt. I would have kept uh, the standard supports in, in that case. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, okay, let's, let's check it out. I think I would recommend doing that as well. Just, it's now oh, yeah. a fairy tale coaster. <laughs> it's, uh... It's now themed. It's, it's unique, I would say, yeah. I wonder how they came up with uh, the way that the supports are built. I kind of want to see what the supports are made out of as well. Oh, well, let's see that in a bit. So we've got a very steep lift hill. Very steep drop. Oh, yeah. Some trim brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some trims. Oh! Uh, some air time. It's ejector right there. Oh, Ooh. hang time? That's what the trims are for. So block brakes? Th they looked like block brakes, yeah, but I'm not entirely sure. Man, those supports actually look interesting. Uh, whoop. Oh. <laughs> little transition into the uh, final break run. Oval oh, cylinder. Yeah. Interesting. Basic shapes. Okay. And this is a very much a hang time element of all. You know, this kind of makes me wonder where you could go with like wobbly looking supports. I think there's actually a lot of uncovered territory when it comes to making interesting coaster supports. But that's a discussion for another day. Let's get on with Infi's submission. And uh, he actually made two blueprints, uh, one wow. for the track and one uh, for the other supports. So transfer track here. He actually made it a different color, which is interesting. Yeah. And let's see how this would work. As they would slide to the right and it would go backwards. This is super detailed. Also, this doesn't use any TMTK, right? No, no TMTK. What are those catwalks made out of? Like the the bottom? Ah, oh, that's that's very clever. Uh, yeah, this looks, looks really well done. Quite I realistic. I like how it's, the colors are faded as well, slightly. Oh, yeah. Because this is clearly supposed to be like an old aero. It's interesting. It's very different from all the aero coasters uh, layouts that I've seen before. But it's believable. It's it's completely its own thing, but I would, I can totally believe that Arrow would come up with this some point in the '90s. It kind of reminds me of Viper or uh, the Great American Scream Machine, Vortex. I don't know if those names say anything to you, but it's kind of like those coasters. Oh, they do. Great yeah. American Scream Machine was one of the. I used the trailer in the in the contest trailer to get the oh. right mood going. Well, now you see that I barely did my research. <laughs> yeah, I had to pay you for this, so that's all. No, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah. Also, these are all custom supports, right? Everything is custom, yeah. Man, this looks like it really took a lot of work. Yeah, it is over 4K pieces, so... Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, I like oh. the banking. That's very yeah, realistic. That's beautifully janky. Also, the fact that the loops are all the same size. Is that normal? Typical arrow. Yeah, yeah oh, arrow okay. didn't figure out how to build bigger loops. So instead, they just built loops oh, the, standard the same element. size. Just raised them uh, higher off the ground. They only worked with standard elements. It was like playing roller coaster tycoon in real life. Uh, I love how you can see like the each each of the uh, sections, like out, yeah, and then it turns. And yeah, then it yeah, turns yeah. And, uh, this yep. is great, great. Oh, this is this is how you make a realistically bad coaster. I think you could tell a lot of work went into making this coaster not super good. Yeah. Wow, great effort, Infi. Yeah, that's nice. This is guys. Wow. 
It's and pretty big. It's a 1989 Vacoma looping coaster. I went uh, for the Aero Turns in the end because that's how they were initially imported as. Okay. Also, transfer tracks. Wow, these are the most detailed transfer tracks we've he, seen so far. I he think. made some like uh, custom boxes. I used the yeah, lights. Really I like the cool. color. I must say, I really like the colors. And he called it Category 5. Because there's five, like a uh, yeah, like a category five hurricane. Because there's also five inversions, and I, oh, wow, I oh, thought yeah. that was really clever. Not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, yeah. And also, check also out that this. element, that butterfly element after like that big element in the middle, that looks super cool. But notice also the fact that it has a double spine. Yeah, I used the uh, inverted Vacoma uh, boomerang for the double spine. Ah. That's sick. Also, yep. this reminds me a lot of uh, Guderix in Park Asterix. Yeah, he also said know. that was his main inspiration. And Blue Hawk. Uh, yeah. But I don't yeah, know where Blue Hawk sense. is. But uh... you know, I want to ride it. Enough yeah. talking. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the clock, my man. <laughs> I pay you by the hour. I need to hurry. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> by the way, did you, did you ever ride Guderix in real life? No, I haven't been to a Park Asterix. Uh, you need to do it one day. It's, it looks uh... painful, but good at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know many people have called it for many years the worst coaster in the world. Oh, I don't really? think it's that bad. I think it's nowhere near as bad as people say. Like you have to, you have to watch your head. You have to kind of know how to hold yourself when you ride it. <laughs> um, but it's, I don't know. I, I think it's rough in a fun way. It's not too rough where it becomes really painful or like damaging. Uh, it's just the kind of what the fuck is this thing rough where it's still actually fun. <laughs> Um, also, I got one more f bomb, I guess, in this video before we are in PG thirteen anymore. It's all right. Censor this. Censor this. It's gonna gonna be beeped out. Oh, that's beautiful! Wow. I know I'm supposed to stay objective, but I can see that a lot of effort was put into making those transitions work. He also <laughs> made this in seven hours on day one. <laughs> I was like, what? Man? What? <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. That's insane. It's incredibly I think smooth as well. Like. These are the best corkscrews we've seen so far. I must Maybe agree. even too smooth. The transition into the corkscrews was even good. Relatively speaking. I like that. Also, I can see the Gururix uh, inspiration by the way we have a brake run and then we go down a little bit and then we go up into the second brake run. Gururix does that as well for some reason. Okay. Oh, that's accurate then. Okay. Yeah, very cool. Also, I like how this coaster is very noticeably Vacoma, while the last coaster was noticeably Arrow. It's, it's, it's the mainly the supports that... for me that for that. Oh yeah. But you are, yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. But also notice the loops are actually big instead of just standard sized loops that are raised to a higher height. Um, so you could tell by the shaping, this is actually supposed to be a Vacoma. Okay. Pretty cool. Oh. That's why I brought you in for, for all those details. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Gonna make it my money's worth. Next one is by A. Jonesy, I guess. A. 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 Or, or A. 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 Jonesy? A. Jonesy. I don't know. A. A. Genesi. This uh, arrow looping coaster it has a very compact layout with many near miss elements with the supports and other pieces of track. P.S. All custom supporting. Wow. Oh, uh, also, apologies for uh, butchering your name, probably. Yes. This looks very interesting. It, it, it is compact. Very, yeah. It looks very uh, different from what I'm used to as well, but in an interesting way. He also made uh, some different type of transfer track here. With actually, like switch elements, I guess. Uh, um, I, I don't oh, know yeah. how to call them. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, they switch a little bit and then... I wonder how this works. It's just... I... Um, I think I, I'm not sure if this works. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> let's, let's try it. <laughs> I think uh, that's how train uh, switch tracks work. Or at least it's more similar. Oh, okay. Very steep lift hill. A super steep lift hill. Was there a, a footprint, uh, like a maximum footprint? Yeah, I built, built a wall where they could build it. Well, roughly they could go outside, but keep the main section of it in, uh, inside mm. so that's why they're all roughly the same size right makes sense Ooh, you can get some airtime here and 
around here. I think the the idea for that turnaround element is actually really cool. Is you turn around, but you still get some airtime on it. Turnaround elements with airtime are pretty rare, way too rare in this world. Now that you say it, yeah. It's it's picking up speed though. <laughs> Holy hell! Yeah. It's great. It's a quick one. Oh, ejected there. And into the break runs we go. All right. Yeah, if I if I have to give a tip, it's that a transfer tracks like this work for trains, but not necessarily for roller coasters. But I think uh, they're pretty close because you can have this kind of thing for roller coasters. It's just that the rails are too close to each other for them to work. But that's that's a very minor nitpick. I'm very well very well disqualified. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, next one is by Bodidu or Bachidu. He's uh, from France and I make fun of him for that. No, I'm kidding. No. Bachidu. We go on. Do you make fun of him for this? Oh, we play around in chat. It's all right. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, yeah. Let's see. He made actually like a bit of a story here, I guess. A little and very short Vacoma coaster with a strange element after the drop. And then he goes back uh, in, in French. Un petit et court coaster Vacoma avec un élément et strange à place la drop. Okay. Oh, très bien. Decided to make a realistic layout with details and accurate shaping to get a bump in the track with one meter, or at least I've tried. And then it's in French as well. Okay. So ah. we international. <laughs> at, uh, let's take a look at the coaster. I itself. like the colors of the trains. It's uh, kind of unusual, uh, but looks cool. Yeah. And it's nice. also a bit smaller than the other ones we've seen. So that's also interesting. Yeah, I like it. It also seems like a coaster that a small park would be able to afford. Also, that first element after the drop. They weren't kidding. That looks really interesting. Very curious. Also, this is two meter metheded, isn't it? Look at all those. Uh, I think even one meter maybe on the track. Oh wow! The same That's with uh, Kendra Quarry Five. He also made it two meters. I think uh, he told me in the end. Oh yeah, so that some, doesn't surprise yeah. me. Oh look at the cable here as well. He's installed. Oh, uh... <laughs> that's nice. Man. Respect for that, especially for a Vacoma coaster, because you don't even necessarily need to make it super smooth, realistically speaking, I'd say, anyway. It's already an interesting uh, drop. It's a little bit like the shaping on the Vacoma Sidewinder, the Whirlwind model, I think it's called. Okay. Oh, yeah, and this is a cool element. I like this a lot. This seems like a, a model that, realistically, small parks would be able to afford. Oh, that entry was also great. Into the <laughs> that, that, that might actually be the best, most realistic corkscrew so far, in my opinion. Like, the entry was so perfectly bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, what a nice, uh, super realistic small coaster. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the details here as well. Yeah. Cool. That's you know, this is this is a weird kind of contest because you're you're looking for coasters that are not smooth, that are not good, but a very particular kind uh, of not smooth and not good. Maybe it was a bit too challenging for like the first contest. It's like a very specific, like like oh, yeah. thing to get right. Okay, next <laughs> one is by Katze. I think uh, uh -huh. he or she's from Germany. Ah, yeah. And uh, the description is a coaster, and an additional description is high. So this is a coaster. All right. That's a huge loop. That's a huge loop. Let's go in. These supports are interesting. They're kind of. I think they're custom. Again. Yeah, they are custom. Yeah. Kind of Millennium Force ish. Oh no! Yeah, on the on the lift hill for sure. Yeah. All right. Next time you need to uh, do a coaster contest for a coaster type with. Lift hills that aren't as slow. Or maybe just launched coasters. Launch, yeah. <laughs> Might be a good one. Oh, Would there's it... a mosquito in front of my face. Oh, no. Oh, well. We'll survive that. Well, that's a sick drop. It's like um, the big one. It reminds me of Schwarzkopf's, actually. The way oh. it does the, the curve and then into the loop. And then uh, another curve back up. The backing is good. Yeah. And then, oh, it is Ooh, like... Uh, yeah. Yeah, nice. 
This really gives me um, kind of a Schwarzkopf vibes. This reminds me of the, the one in uh, the old one in Slagade. Oh, yeah, yeah. What the uh, drop? That's a Schwarzkopf, right? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, very nice. Right. I think some sections nice. are a bit fast, but in general, that's an awesome layout. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, next one. Rex in the park. Hey, you made a transfer track as well. Oh, you made the... Oh, that's the one that flips. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That would work, right? No. Well, yeah, that, that works. Okay. That's very uh, common on Vekoma coasters as well. Let's take a look at the layout. Ooh, some very interesting elements here. Oh, yeah. All right, let me delete this. Oop. <laughs> was that the <laughs> camera? No, that was um, to indicate where water is supposed ah, to be. Right. So, But I didn't put the effort into it, placing it. Why didn't you put the effort into placing it? Uh, because uh, a lot of builds weren't suited for it. So I was like, okay, let's just <laughs> kind of play, have an <laughs> even playing field. All right, fair enough. I think you were just being a lazy bum. Yeah. That's me. That's okay. It's all right. Hmm. What is that structure to the left of the... Oh, it's like a lift hill and stuff? Oh, we need to look at that afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Another curved drop. I guess it kind of comes with uh, the boundaries of where the layout was allowed to be built. Yeah, I think it might be a big factor. An interesting element to start off with as well. Pretty unique, but I think believable. Yeah, for sure. That nice turnaround. Yeah. Nice speed as well. And that nice janky entrance. Yeah. Very compact as well. This is like a... I think the shaping is uh, pretty realistic. Yeah. Oh yeah, and ending it with uh, a helix. Very for coma this, right? Yeah, for sure. Although it could have been an arrow as well, especially the start. It gives me late 90s arrow experimentation vibes as well. Mm -hmm. Next up is Cheese. It. Thanks for giving me another excuse to make an arrow. And he used uh, the poles for the support, the yeah, traffic poles. So that's different than some of the other ones we've seen. I think uh, Infi also used those. This is a butterfly, right? Or bat yeah. Oh yeah, no. Uh, well, actually, no. Bat this is. A <laughs> it's a butterfly in Facoma terms, right? Or arrow terms. Um, yeah, I think that's the difference. They just use another name. It's but, yes. uh, okay. I'm not entirely sure. It's a bat wing for sure. But uh, a butterfly could also be the thing that Gudurix has, where the entrance is in the other direction. Oh uh, yeah. I needed to uh, brush up on my knowledge on these things as well. Darn. I used to know I like everything in 2016 and then everything I forgot. Yeah, the supports <laughs> are good. Yeah. <laughs> I like the colors as well. Yeah, they're also nicely faded. Like this coaster has been here for a few years. Right, so everybody has a realistic lift hill speed, I think. Yeah, I think <laughs> for the blueprint one, it was way too fast. The initial blueprint, everyone was like, why did you put it at this speed? It's supposed to be this. <laughs> it was like, okay, I'll change it. <laughs> I think everybody doing your contest knows better than you do. Yeah, right? yep. <laughs> I found that out as well. <laughs> That's why I had the contest, so I don't have to build these coasters myself. Ah, big yeah. brain. Oh, that's a nice and janky turnaround again. Feels good to, to watch janky coasters and not have to be, you know, sitting inside them. Oh yes, this is this is a cool element though. Wish more coasters had this. Nice trim brakes in the middle. Oh, the the, the banking is amazing on this, like the straight sections, and then <laughs> oh yeah, here oh this is so recognizable. Yeah. Amazingly this bad. Another good one. This coaster has an interesting, like element mix. It doesn't have any corkscrews. It it doesn't. The loop and and bat wing combination is. I think pretty unique. It's almost like the old corkscrew layout, you know? The old corkscrew layout does like the first half the same and then after yeah. the loop you do the turnaround and then a corkscrew. Ah, and yeah. And back to the station. This could be um, an alternative that never was built yeah, or something. Yeah, something and like that. The supports are very interesting as well. Uh, I don't know yeah. enough about supports. Uh, but, uh, they uh, look pretty realistic. I do notice that a couple of footers are missing and I'm not sure if that was intentional, but... Footers? Yeah, to the right of where you're looking right now, but 
maybe maybe I'm ruining things now. There are a couple of supports that don't have the concrete uh, footers at the base. Like oh, these. these. Maybe. Oh, oops. Oh. Huh? You did you mess no, this up? Well, no, I must <laughs> defend myself. There was no... There was also two blueprints. There was no okay. lining up thing. So... All right, all right. So we can't blame Cheese It for this. This was your fault. Well, 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 yes, fine. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, Jairo, Jairo. Okay. This is my take on the classic era looper coaster for Euros Contest. Some stats height 102 feet, speed 51 miles per hour, four inversions. Uh, that's it. All right. Let's take a look at this. Ooh. Very interesting. interesting. I also like how this is a very compact and realistic, believable layout that doesn't take up too much space, but it still manages to crank in some pretty unique elements. It's like it's like half corkscrew because it also has that typical loop turnaround corkscrew corkscrew uh, element set, but then it's mixed in with some more unusual late '90s arrow moves like this element, which looks like it came straight out of Tennessee Tornado. Oh, cool. yeah, and I think it also meant uh, for this to be in the water. So just imagine ah, right. <laughs> that that Ooh, the yeah. cars cor go over the water. So that's that would be this, awesome. This would be a believable default layout, I think. Pretty that's nice. right. It. I like the colors as well. The dark blue, navy blue, I guess. Maybe oh yeah. Not. I thought it was black at first, but you're right. It's I guess this is navy blue. I think uh, I think you're on the mark when it comes to the name of this color. There, this has to be navy blue. One of my favorite colors. Ooh. Did you know that the French flag recently changed? Oh, they really? changed the blue in the French flag from the deep blue on the EU flag to navy blue. So the blue on the French flag is darker these days. Officially. Okay. Many people didn't update their flag yet. It's a travesty. <laughs> it is for anybody who's, uh. who's into vexillology. Right. Nice drop. Oh, it's very smooth, but I can see that it's one and two meter methoded as well. Wow, that's that's buttery smooth. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, but the transition's still slightly janky. This is really good. Yeah, I'm impressed. That was this, solid. This is, honestly, my brain is kind of saying this is a little bit too smooth to be realistic. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's it's very smooth and the transitions are very nice, but almost too much. Um, but, you know, that's that's my take on this. We are not the judges. We are merely the uh, the observers. But this is this is very, very good. I like I the slope. A lot of effort was put into this. The slope on this uh, drop. Very oh, nice. yeah. Okay. Next one is by Imper, a favorite mm -hmm. German friend. This American arrow is for families and thrill seekers uh, at the same time, depending on your seat. Okay. The coaster works with uh, and without the camera mod. I do have it. Although the experience is slightly different. All supports are grouped right. up where possible. Hope you enjoy the ride. And he actually asked me, uh, uh, can I do this? Can I do this? Because he, <laughs> he used DUC items initially. He said, oh, sorry, mm -hmm. you can't use it. So I had to change a lot and this was sticking out. So he had a bit of, uh, he put in a lot of effort into the transfer track, as you can see. Yeah, And uh, I see that. I like how the catwalk also makes sense. Uh, and he has this the <laughs> ugliest, I hate <laughs> like the, 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 the America. Uh, America. Yeah, yeah, okay. Man. Being on this coaster makes me feel free. <laughs> Where are the guns? I'm starting to Where worry about my health insurance. <laughs> Man, this this coaster it would fit perfectly in a in a huge field of suburbs with SUVs in every driveway. Oh, you made a camera here. Oh, that's nice. Also, these supports look very cool. Oh, used cables and, uh, yeah. to tie them together? I think the cables are supposed to be the supports themselves. It's just that they're oh, the, yeah. the thinnest beam you have in Planko. Oh, I like how the track actually goes into the ground a little bit. Yeah, I did terraform it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> <You did it. laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was a sick element. 
That's airtime. That's insane. Some pretty good airtime too. Wow. Oh. Nice. Good layout. Yeah, this is a cool layout. Oh, that was a nice. Uh... The transition was very, very nice. This one too. This almost feels like uh, an old Gen Vacoma or Arrow, but with new Gen Vacoma shaping. Especially okay. those last turns over there. Is there an Some example the... in the real world you can name? Like uh... not really. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Hyper GTX coaster type by Morgan. There's only one of them in the world, uh, Lightning Run, uh, but it uses this kind of track. Um, but it's it's very new, it's very smooth, and it's very airtime and transition focused. Interesting. And it kind of gives me those vibes as well. I like how the the inversions are after each yeah, other. That's a nice three in look. a row. Yeah. It looks pretty sick. Okay. Also, the first drop is steep. Uh, very interesting. You get airtime in the back. Yeah, that must be some nice vertical Gs as well. Yeah. Next right. up, Petrix. Thanks for <laughs> holding this competition. It really motivate me, motivated me to play some Planet Coaster again. Okay. And that's nice. a very bright color. That's uh, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even know colors could get this bright in the game. It's like a Hebo Club color, you know? Like, uh... <laughs> okay. This, this looks like it. It glows in the dark. Maybe it does actually. That will, is that possible? Probably. Glow in the dark track. I mean, why not? Glow in the dark paint is just paint. I see, uh, see I an opportunity like, here. Uh, yeah, I feel like realistically you could just coat a roller coaster in glow in the dark paint. I think the only problem is it's just going to look a little bit weird when it wears off. Like, I think like immediately. five years after painting it, yeah, or maybe even earlier, you know, some of the paint is going to wear off. And then at night the coaster just looks poorly maintained. But. <laughs> Yeah, it's still interesting. But it's a, it's a cool color scheme here. Very sci-fi. Oh. I get sci-fi vibes from it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Nice custom supports. Realistic transitions here. Okay, now I feel like I'm riding Python. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a mirrored python with one yeah, less loop. Kinda. If you don't yeah, know what python cool. is, by the way, that's like our basically our home park <laughs> coaster. Yeah, <laughs> at Efteling. All right. Yeah, very much. Yeah, especially with how the corkscrews go over the first drop and the lift hill. That's uh, oh, an yeah, interesting like... way to take a similar layout, but like arrange it very differently. That's a cool look now that you mention it. Yeah. Next one by Ab. 64. I wonder if that's a reference to the train. I'm going into very specific knowledge here, but the Mutt 64 train in the Netherlands is also known as the, the monkey the monkey head train, because it kind of looks like it. Okay, but, nerd. Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the supports are not finished because I'm not good at it, but I tried. Okay. Oh, but the supports on the lift hill look quite nice. Yeah, they, 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 they are quite I, uh, nice. I have to say, things? I think... I think if you follow your dreams, you'll get there for sure. <laughs> anyway, up 64, um, I think you should follow your support dreams because you're doing very well here, actually. I think you're doing better than you're, you're thinking. I agree. Looks like we're going to get some Python-esque layout again. I think for a lot of the Dutchies, that's like the main go-to coaster yeah. for reference. Also, I feel like Python in the Netherlands is like the main roller coaster for anyone. Like, ask anyone in the Netherlands to name a roller coaster. They'll all ask. They'll all name Python. It's so iconic. Yeah. Still, could it should have gone rid of it though. But uh... <laughs> um, that's a ah, it's history. It's history. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But now this becomes something very different. This is an interesting take on the layout, though. Oh, yeah, and into the corkscrews. Or just one. There we go, just turn around, I think, and there we are. Yeah. I think this is also a fun take on the mix of elements that you have in these kind of coasters. You know, it kind of feels like the, a, a realistic or... or like a real life layout that's actually been built, but just with some other elements switched up. Okay, Casual Tycoon. Oh, he made that. This is called Blazing Eagle. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah! Following the success of the Tennessee Tornado, Aerodynamics is added again with a new design. Drawing from Drakenfire, Arrow has used a unique lift structure to work around an existing lake. <clears throat> and incorporated five, in five inversions that are sure to bring the thrill. Sit back and relax as Brazing Eagle drops you 67 feet, reaching 44 miles per hour. Nice, we got That's, stats. Uh, yeah, also, so these supports look cool. I don't know, have you ever seen the supports on Dragonfire in I, real life? They I look think super cool. so, yeah, I watched the uh, Alto Orion's video. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a great video as well. Yeah, it's a really interesting coaster. I can it's see like the inspiration a, here. It's like a mini dragon fire. Yeah. All right. Totally. That's right. It's very bright. Uh, now the American anthem is stuck in my head. I don't know. This just what? looks so American. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, who's a. I'm Kennedy's. feeling like eating McDonald's. Uh, I never. Well, actually, some, yeah, I often feel like eating McDonald's. And then the first bite, I'm already like, uh, no. why did I want this again? <laughs> I, just, I just hate that we got the bad. You know, U.S. chains. We we just get McDonald's and KFC and McDonald's Burger King. McDonald's is good though, better than. Yeah, the but US. why don't we get Wendy's and In and Out and Shake Shack? Fair enough. We've got five guys. <laughs> That's true. We like got five guys at least. In the That's a fair. All right. Well, now I'm hungry. So this is a '90s arrow, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Like in the late '90s, just before they went bankrupt, when they were kind of going haywire with their designs. X2 or no X1. Oh, yeah. Man, that coast is so good. Next contest. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is actually a layout with lots of really cool elements for such a small coaster. Oh, this is uh, interesting. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Got that corkscrew. Can't end a classic uh, arrow coaster without the corkscrew. <laughs> For some reason, this reminds me of Tornado at Helen Dorn. <laughs> I, I can see why it reminds you of it. It's, it's yeah. compact, it's not the longest. Well, it's pretty long, but it's like... The a first drop also well. looks a little bit similar. Yeah. That's, this is so American, though. <laughs> yeah, <for sure>. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> okay, the last one. You got anything gluten-free? <laughs> anything uh, non-dairy? This is by <laughs> Max, or Burgemeester Max, as he's called. Uh-huh. And he says... Here's my entry for your contest. It was challenging for me because I've never done custom supports before. Oh, we've got a first timer here, folks. Nice. And also, I made the looping and the corkscrew myself. So it's not a standard element from the editor. That's nice, nice. because I used the standard element in the, my own version. <laughs> okay, uh, I've made this choice because otherwise it would have been too big. Uh, when the right. designing the supports and coaster, I mainly looked at the Python coaster from Dutch Knee Park Efteling. Oh, that's a recurring theme tonight. Uh, yeah, very nice though. I did this using Google Maps and Efteling on ride video. Of course, you can change anything you want. Uh, like making the track smoother. Well, we'll have to see. Uh, <laughs> I hope you like what I've made and enjoyed the ride. All right. It's interesting. Interesting colors as well. And also uh, massive props for the first time doing uh, custom loop and corkscrews and custom supports. Yeah, Which this looks uh, nice. It does look promising, let's write it. Also, I think it's interesting how it's kind of like an out and back layout. This is the first this is like the first different. Like this is very yeah. different than the others. Yeah, true. But the supports for a first timer look very good. For a second timer? Eh, no I'm kidding. No. <laughs> no. Very nice. Oh, and we, we see so many support. Uh, like like strategies. These are uh, I don't know exactly which beams these are, but they are different from the ones we've seen before. I think there's those that are the, western. The I beams. Beam. Oh yeah. Nice element before the loops. The loops are pretty good as well. Mhm. Mm Nice turn around. And the corkscrew, yeah. Very much Python like, huh? And then the helix. This is, this is very good for a first attempt. Yeah, great effort. Oh, that was it, folks. Um, 
I will upload the, the park for you guys to check out each coaster. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you watched the video, if you would vote. Yeah, don't try to vote for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you guys think. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you, Sylv, for accompanying, accompanying uh, me tonight. Yeah, it's been very fun. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, it, you know, people always say it's been very fun. You know, it's kind of a cliche, but uh, honestly, uh, it's been fun. I yeah, will so, talk uh, price in a bit, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And I want to thank everyone, really, for all your entries. Uh, for the first contest of my channel, 16 entries. I think that's amazing. I wasn't yeah, expecting that, to be honest. And uh, especially how uh, enthusiastic you guys were in the Discord. By the way, if you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord. So, yeah, people, go vote. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.